Let's solve this first water linear differential equation. We have x times dy dx plus 2y, and this is equal to x to the negative 3. Alright, this is not in the standard form that we want, right? Because we have this x right here. Let's go ahead and divide everything by x first then. So that this and that will cancel. And then we will have dy dx, and this is plus 2 over x, and let's put the y on the side. And this right here, you know you have x to the negative 3, and over x. Altogether, you have x to the fourth power in the denominator, so I can say this is equal to x to the negative 4, like that. Standard form, right? And this will be the p of x. So you know, the p of x is positive 2 over x, and we are ready to find the integrating factor. Make sure you remember the formula, otherwise you have to derive it on the exams and things like that. Anyways, mu of x is equal to e, and we raise to the power, it's the integral, integral p of x, which is 2 over x. Okay, and then we have the dx. Alright, so this is e. Work this out, you have the 2, right? And if you put on the 2, then you have to integrate 1 over x, and the integral of 1 over x is just ln absolute value of x. Then let me just put that down, ln of absolute value of x. Don't worry about the plus c, this is what we need. And we can somehow get rid of the e and the ln, right? Be sure you do it carefully. You cannot have a number besides 1 in front. So put the 2 to the exponent here. So this is e raised to the ln absolute value of x to the second power. And once you do this, you can cancel, cancel, and this is equal to just x to the second power. Well, you don't need the absolute value because this is just going to be a function that we need and we'll multiply everything by that function. Don't worry about the absolute value, okay? It's not because x squared is always positive and things like that. It's just seriously, you don't need the absolute value and you don't need any constant right here neither. Okay. Alright, right here, we'll multiply everything by x to the second power and we will have x squared times that right x squared dy dx and x squared times 2 over x one of the x will cancel out and this will stay on the numerator so this is plus 2x and then we have the y on the side this is equal to x squared times x to the negative 4 you know you will get x to the negative 2 all right here is the punchline. And this is the best part. On the left hand side, you are going to get the derivative of a product of two functions. The first one is x squared, the second one is y. Mu of x times y. And you can double check. If you take the derivative of x squared times y, you keep the first function and you multiply by the derivative of the second, which you get the dy dx. And you add, you keep the second function, which is y and you multiply by the derivative of x squared, which is the 2x. So nice, isn't it? And on the right hand side, we have x to the negative 2. And then we can just go ahead, integrate both sides. So that this and that will cancel. And we just have this, x squared y. Don't worry about the plus c. This is equal to. All right, this is so nice for us to integrate. The integral of x to the negative 2 power we are going to add 1 to the power, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and we divide it by this new exponent, which is 1 over negative 1. This is going to give me negative, and then we have x to the negative 1 power, and then right here, I will just add my constant on the right hand side. This constant is needed because we need to solve the original differential equation, right? Alright, let's solve for the y. Of course, we can just go ahead and divide everything by x to the second power. This and that will cancel, and then we have the function y in terms of x. This right here, we first put on a negative. x to the negative 1 power over x squared, we have 1 over x to the third power. And we add it with c over x squared. That's it.